Good morning, everybody. The Lord be with you and also with you. As we begin our worship this morning, we will light our candles and we will say together the words on the screen. So as we light our candles this morning, we remember God the Father who helps us to love worship. We remember God the Son who helps us to love ourselves. And we remember God the Holy Spirit who helps us to love others. Hello and welcome to today's worship. I'm Rachel, I'm the children's worker at St Anne's Church. For those that have not seen me before, a big hello and I hope to meet you all soon. Today we are talking about forgiveness, but before we do, let's start with our worship music. Some of the year sixes have chosen Stand Together with our youth worker, Rachel Hanford, leading the actions. Are you ready? up if you have seen this movie. Lilo and Stitch is a great Disney movie that shows how our emotions lead to our actions and how our choice of actions can affect other people. Lilo is a young girl who is being cared for by her big sister following the death of her parents and other siblings. From the beginning it is clear that Lilo isn't like other girls her age. She is socially awkward and sometimes acts a little odd, but this is her way of dealing with her emotions. Let's watch this clip of the movie and have a think about what emotions both sisters are showing through their actions and their words.
don't you wait at the school? You were supposed to wait there! Lilo! Do you not understand? Do you want to be taken away? Answer me! No! No, you don't understand? No! No? What? No! <sighs> You're such a pain. So why do you sell me by a rabbit instead? At least a rabbit will behave better than you! Go ahead, then you'll be happy because it will be smarter than me too! And quieter! You'll like it because it's stinky like you! Get out of your room! I'm already in my room! Brought you some pizza, in case you were hungry. We're a broken family, aren't we? No. Maybe a little. Maybe a lot. I shouldn't have yelled at you. We're sisters. It's our job. Yeah, well, from now on... I like you better as a sister than a mom. Yeah? And you like me better as a sister than a rabbit, right? Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Yes, I do. I hit Myrtle Edmonds today. You hit her? Before I bit her. You bit her? Lilo, you shouldn't. People treat me different. They just don't know what to say. I'll tell you what. If you promise not to fight anymore, I promise not to yell at you. Except on special occasions. Tuesdays and bank holidays would be good. Yeah, would that be good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my camera's full again. Yesterday. You rotten sister, your body is crushing me! Why do you act so weird? It's me again. I need someone to be my friend. Someone who won't run away. Maybe send me an angel. The nicest angel you have. For the most part, Lilo is just lonely, sad and scared. These feelings of isolation eventually leads Lilo to seek out help from God. Kneeling by her bed, Lilo begins to pray. It's me again, she tells God. I need someone to be my friend, someone who won't run away. Maybe send me an angel, the nicest angel you have. And here is the angel that God sent to Lilo. This is Stitch. Not your typical angel. It's a crazy alien who Lilo later mistakenly adopts as a dog. Stitch does eventually save Lilo and reunite her family. So maybe the Lord does work in mysterious ways. Can you forgive me again? I don't know You're bad, what I and said, you'll always be bad. But I didn't mean to hurt you. Stitch.
So thinking back to yesterday's worship, Rev Dave demonstrated how our facial expressions can tell other people how we feel towards them. Because of our human nature, we experience lots of different emotions. Some are good and some are not so good. Jesus understands that we sometimes find it hard to know what the right choice is. Our natural instinct is to protect ourselves from being hurt. Our initial reaction may be to argue back with somebody. We may get defensive because we don't want to be misunderstood or we really want others to understand how we feel. Sometimes we get caught up in an argument that's not even ours to have. Sometimes it's to protect our family and friends. But if we don't know the whole story, getting involved can make things much worse. Being a good friend is about being honest. It's about being kind and a good listener. And being a good listener doesn't mean that you have to listen to your friend continue to say unkind words about someone who has hurt them in the past. Knowing when to step away from a situation is the best action you can take. It doesn't mean that you can't be friends anymore. It just means that you are making the right choice for that situation. No one is perfect. We all make mistakes and we all make the wrong choices sometimes. This is the nature of being human. We face temptation. We don't always love our friends or show kindness to strangers. We judge others because of their actions without knowing the whole story. And we get things wrong a lot. As a Christian who knows Jesus in their heart, we know that no matter how many times we get it wrong, we will be forgiven because he knows and loves us individually and knows when we are truly sorry. So let's close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining me today in worship and I hope to see you all soon. Take care. God bless. Bye.